on a calm, misty morning, the destroyer HMS Broke brings home the last remains of Edward Lord Carson. To the young, he is a symbol of loyalty victorious against long odds. But to the old, who signed the covenant with him, and who now watch him pass through the Belfast streets, he is the soldier, the statesman, the builder of modern Ulster. As the procession moves slowly on its mile-long march to the Cathedral of St. Anne, there are few signs of sorrow among the crowds. For of Carson, can it be said, as a few other men, he died completely victorious. Among the poor bearers is the Prime Minister, Lord Craig Avon, and the widow and her son walk behind the coffin. The Governor of Northern Ireland, Lord Abercorn, arrives at the cathedral to represent His Majesty the King. In the cathedral, Lord Carson will lie alone, for until he came, no one was buried there, a symbol of his unique position among Ulstermen. <laughs> 